Hey guys, in this video, I will show you guys how to reset your nether and end worlds without affecting the overworld in bedrock edition. Previously, MCC tool chest was used to reset these kind of worlds, but since it's not working in 2021, there is a new method I found that we can use to reset these worlds in bedrock edition. But first, if you are using a server, you should copy your world file into your Minecraft Windows 10 edition in-game world folder. And of course, I have given the folder path location where you can locate the Minecraft world folder in the description below. This will make the software's work easier to identify your Minecraft worlds. I will put the download link to download this software in the description below so you guys can download it from there. First, let me show you my nether and end worlds before resetting them. So you guys can identify the difference later. This is my stone nether. It happened because of some glitch. But now I want to reset them. Now let's see my end city world. It also have some kind of stones and so many mobs which are not even related to the end world. Someone must have spawned them. Also my end portal was broken. Now let's go back to our overworld and begin the process to reset them. The software we are about to use is Amulet. Currently this is the only software we can use to customize the Minecraft Bedrock Edition world. Once you have downloaded that, extract them and then copy the software where you have lot of space available. I'm talking about the disk space. Once you have done that, open the software and then open the Minecraft world inside the software. Depending on your world size, it will take some time to completely load the world inside the software. Change the world look into 2D. And once you have done that, you can able to see the world image as a map. It's my spawn location. Now open the world that you want to reset them. First I will reset my end city world. The blue dots and their inside pixels are world generated chunks from my end city. And the black and grey pixels are never discovered chunks. Which means it's never been there. So no world generation has ever happened in that places. Of course you can select and delete manually for particular areas for fresh world generation and also you can keep the rest. But it can potentially cause the higher time to apply the changes. That depends on your world size and explore chance. If you want to reset your entire end or nether world, you have to click the delete unselected chunks. But make sure you didn't select any chunks on the screen map. Only then it will be a complete reset. Or if you want to keep any particular areas, go to the coordination and select the chunks you want to keep them and then click delete unselected chunks. This will remove all the chunks except the one you have selected. If you want to keep all your world but only want to delete few chunks for fresh new generation, you can also do that. For that, you need to select the chunks you want to delete and then click delete chunks, simple as that. But always remember, deleting few chunks like this may take long duration to apply the changes. It's all up to your world size and your computer. But deleting entire chunks from the world is actually takes less time to apply the changes. Now I am also going to do the same in the nether world. But we can only see the nether roof from there. So deleting the particular chunks for fresh world generation, you may need the coordination to do that. But since I want to delete my entire nether, I have to click delete unselected chunks and wait for the progress to be finished. Once it's all done, we can close this software and check the results. Closing the software will also take some time. So being patient is very important if you want to use this software without a problem. Uh, forcing this software to close may cause some world corruption. So never force this software to do anything, just wait until it closes. Always back up your world files before doing anything. You should keep that in mind. Ok, now let's check the results. Nether world looks great. It's a new fresh world generation. 
The only side effect I got is that the previous portals links are still here. And so no new portals were generated when I got here. I think it's because of the level data. However, making new portals from little distance will create new portals inside the nether, so it's not a problem. Now let's check the end city world. All the stones and unwanted mobs were gone. It's a fresh new world generation, but no dragon. That because we already killed the dragon, so the data of the dragon killed entries will be on the level data file. The level data can be customized, but I will show you guys that in a separate video. But now the end portal is also fixed. Cool, right? I hope this helps you guys. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And bye.